Hey everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers. And today, Jacob and I are hiking the, to the White Falls in the Sipsi Wilderness. And we're hiking to the Valentine Pool, which is a little bit of a, uh, a bushwhack trip to get to. So uh, come along, it's gonna be an adventure. Jacob and I hiked the Valentine Pool and the White Falls in the Sipsi Wilderness. The trail starts out following the Trail 202 from the Randolph Wild Trailhead. A short distance up 202, you quickly branch off to follow Trail 201 towards the heart of the Sipsi. In order to make it easier to get to the Valentine Pool, we abandoned Trail 201 partway along and bushwhacked our way downstream until we reached the amazingly beautiful and aptly named Valentine Pool. Next, we rock scrambled our way down to the base of the nearby and equally amazing White Falls. After enjoying the spectacle of the falls, we continued downstream until we reached the Sipsi Fork of the Black Warrior River. We followed the Sipsi Fork upstream, past the rapids of the Sipsi, until we reached the confluence of the Thompson and Hubbard Creeks. Here we had lunch and then returned back up to the top of the ridge and took an easy hike back down Trail 201 to the trailhead. This was another spectacular hike in the Sipsi wilderness with wildness and beauty at every turn. All right, we are at the Randolph Wild Trailhead, um, getting ready to go down Trail 201 and 202. There's a nice little parking area here. And uh, this morning I met up with Jacob. He, uh, he spent the night camping out here last night. Um, I had other engagements and couldn't make it, but uh, he's joining me today. So off we go. So when you leave the parking area, there's a little bit of trail. And then you pop out onto an old road here, um, old Forest Service Road. The sign is gone, <laughs> but this is where it's at. So a short distance down that road, and we come to where we're branching off onto Trail 201. So we're gonna head off this way, which is still a pretty flat trail, follows the route of an old road. It's not maintained as a road the way that last one was, but uh, it's pretty easy going. We have come to where we're going to turn off and go down, bushwhack down into this valley. So this is the, the valley, creek valley down here feeds into the White Falls. And we're going to try to come at it from the top. We don't exactly know where we're going, but it's generally where we want to go. So we're going to go off the trail here. All right, we've gotten to the bottom of the valley here. And uh, we're going to follow this little stream downstream to where the waterfalls should be, and there should be two of them. So uh, we're going to see what we can find. We found an old road down this little valley. So that might make our trip a little easier. Hard to tell. It is quite wild how slow you go when you're off trail. Oh yeah, it really slows you down. Yeah. No doubt about that. There's an old pine tree fell across the creek here. Nice. Let's see if I can get over the, all this down stuff. There we go. So the moss here is so soft. Wow. <laughs> it is so cool. Very nice. All right, got to duck under this one. Well, the stream has gotten bigger. When we first joined it, it was even dry in places. Now it's running pretty good. The water's just coming out of the sides of the, of the uh, banks. We're not really stepping over streams or anything. The water's just going through underground.
Well, we must be on the right track because somebody put a rock here. <laughs> that just doesn't happen on its own. The stream's gotten bigger. <laughs> we hear water falling up here ahead. We're going to try to pick our way over to it. Crossing the little stream here. Well, this is our first waterfall. But it's not the one at the Valentine Pool. That's still coming. Just downhill from that little waterfall up there. We have a confluence of two little streams here. Very pretty. And we're gonna head downstream that way. Jacob found a really nice fossil along the cliff here. Right there. Check that out. A long, narrow leaf. It's kind of got a 3D shape that <laughs> makes it look more real. Oh, there's a big piece of wood above us, look, Jacob. Look, look. look at that. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. That's a log. <laughs> and yeah, look, you can Here's see some more here. Stuff here. Piece of something there. And a big log above. Yeah. That's pretty cool. We have found the Valentine Pool and the waterfall above it. We're trying to pick our way down to it. Huh? That's cool. The Valentine Pool and the Upper White Falls. So just downstream from the Heart Pool is the precipice for the Lower White Falls. And it's probably a 60 or so foot drop to the bottom there um, There theoretically is a route where you can go up on this ledge back here and go along. It's it's really sketchy though Like maybe two feet wide. Yeah, so we're wide. gonna try to find another route down there So obviously some people have come around here And gone up this way So that's how we're gonna go all right, we think we found another way down here. Not quite as sketchy, though if I remember, it requires crawling on all fours. All right, we just crawled or I kind of butt slid down through that gap there. I highly recommend this route uh, the side yeah. as opposed to the side route, which is over there. I've heard people say they've taken that route, but that was pretty dangerous. To me. That was pretty sketchy. I would not yeah. go that way. Yeah. All right, here it is, the Lower White Falls. That undercut is crazy. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's spectacular. Yeah, it's, it's spectacular. That's right. And there, those folks are climbing up like we came down. That's a big tree, isn't it? Oh my god. It's not the big tree, but it's a big tree. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow is right. Yeah. This is so spectacular.
Watch the waterfall. All right, departing White Falls. Heading down the valley to the Sipsy Fork. It's very pretty, all the boulders here, the water flowing around between them. It's beautiful. These valleys here in the Sipsy are just magical. All right, we just passed a uh, really big campsite here. <laughs> we are right at where this, uh, the White Falls stream here joins up with the Sipsy Fork. So, but I think our way out is actually off this way. Here is the uh, Sipsy Fork of the Black Warrior River. I don't think that's the ford though, is it? No, the ford's further upstream. It will, there'll be a sign when we get there. All right, we are at the ford of the Sipsy Fork. This is where Trail 209 crosses over from over there to over here. And then shortly heads up the hill. So nice flow of water today, but it would be crossable. We're not going that way today, but uh, it would be crossable. It's beautiful. I love this Sipsy Canyon here. It's just gorgeous. All right, I like this here. It says arrow 209 straight ahead. So that would be across there. That makes sense. Then there's an arrow to the right and it says White Falls. And then up here at the top, it says not trail 201 to the right. <laughs> yeah, 201 ends uh, actually up on top of the mountain. Uh, technically this is trail 209, um, which crosses over from the other side. Very cool. We've come to a fork in the trail here. It says trail 201 is to the left. That is the shortest route back to the car. It climbs steeply up out of the canyon here and back up onto the plateau and then it's an easy walk back to the car. But that's not the way we're gonna go. Uh, the other thing that's up there for interest is the uh, the Rippy Cabin is up on top of that plateau. Very neat place to visit. I, I have a video for that. I'll put a link up above. Uh, but today, we're gonna go this way, which isn't any particular numbered trail. We're on the opposite side of the creek from the 206 trail, but uh, we're gonna uh, explore this side of uh, Sipsy Fork. So, off we go. Oh, now here's a decent one-man camping spot. Yeah, it is a good camp spot. Wow, look at that, that's cool. That is nice. Huh. Oh, they do the water like that? That is really cool. Yeah. Look at that. How spectacular is that? Yeah, that's a good spot. <laughs> wow, that is neat. Wow, the Sipsy Fork is just so pretty. The big boulders and the deep water. It's so clear. We're in an area here called the Rapids of the Sipsy. The water comes shooting through these rocks. And we're gonna find, pick our way across to the main channel over there. come down from the eye of a needle which is up there and uh, came at this from the other side that's the first time we've ever really been on this side the 
There's a nice fossil in this rock right here underneath a recently dead tree. There's an ancient dead tree. Oh, wow, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> yep. Cool. We are going to continue upstream and see what there is to see. We are at the confluence of the Thompson Creek, which is flowing in from over there, and the Hubbard Creek, which is flowing in from off the left here. And this is the very start of the Sipsy Fork of the Black Warrior River, right here where they join. And it heads downstream from here. We stopped here where the trail crossed this little pass between these rocks here in front of me and the ones we're about to climb. <laughs> and that's where we had our lunch. So lunch finished, we're heading back uphill. We are climbing. Whew. Oh, so we've been coming up through some laurel thickets here and stuff, but wow, a tree fell down here and cleared a nice view across the valley. That's the Hubbard Creek Valley there. Oh, it is steep. We're getting up there. Yep. We're getting close to the top now, though, I think. We have come to a uh, trail junction. And so off to the left here is the trail to the Rippy Cabin, which is down that way. Very interesting place, but we're not going there today. Um, today, we're going to just head back up here and head back towards the parking area. All right, we just came through the intersection with the uh, 209 trail, and we are now back on trail 201, which is what we started off on today. And uh, shortly we will cross where we got off this trail to bushwhack down to that waterfall. So uh, it'll be a quick trip back now. We have made it back to the junction with Trail 202. Woohoo! Now it's just a short road walk, basically, back to the uh, Randolph Wild parking lot. All right, we are almost back to the Randolph Wild Trailhead. It has been a spectacular hike to see some beautiful waterfalls the always beautiful Sipsy Fork of the Black Warrior River. And uh, the Sipsy Wilderness never disappoints. It was a good one today. Thanks for coming along with us. Catch you next time. We are back to the Randolph Wild Trailhead. <laughs>